Hi everyone, this is Germinal Van. First of all, Happy New Year 2021 to all of you. And uh, second of all, I want to thank the grandmother of my wife who offered me this magnificent whiteboard. As you can see, it's much bigger than the one that I had previously. So we are kicking off the year 2021 with, of course, Econometrics 2 Polynomial Regression. And today we're going to talk about a model building strategy order of the model and extrapolation. But before I actually dig into this, uh, just a quick review. Last time we said that uh, the polynomial regression is based on the uh, classical linear regression. But the only difference is that the, pol the polynomial regression takes a curvy, a curvy linear trend. So we remember that the normal uh, linear regression model, it has this y equals this is the typical uh, normal linear regression now when we talk about the polynomial regression it starts with this polynomial regression it goes with y equals beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus beta 2 x square plus uh, the error term so this is the conventional polynomial regression model. So today we're going to talk about the model building strategy. So how do you decide uh, how to fit the, the, uh, the polynomial regression? So there are two ways. I took my notes here that I'm going to guide you guys through. So there are two ways, the two approaches. So the first, it's called the forward the forward selection procedure. So the forward selection procedure. So what does it do? The forward selection procedure basically goes, it says that it's one approach. That is used to fit the model by increasing the order of the parameters and test the statistical significance. of the regression coefficient. So pretty much you will see a model going like this. So you will see like y equal beta zero plus beta one, x plus beta two, x square plus beta three, x, cube plus beta 4 etc uh, and here and then this is the i plus the error term so it will be something like this so you increase pretty much the coefficient uh, you increase basically uh, the order of the parameters and test the statistical significance until you can you can no longer do it but it is important to understand that people tend to always try to increase the statistical significance to fit the model but it's not always that it works so you keep the increasing until the t test for the highest order is no longer significant so until T test is no longer significant. So you test until you see that the p value of the next parameter is no longer lower than 0 0.05. Then you take that out of the model. So now the other approach is the backward. 
the backward selection procedure. So the backward selection procedure, we just do the opposite. So to fit the model, you basically try to put all the parameters that you can. So you use that very same model, but instead now you start proceeding by a process of elimination. So process of elimination. It's important to understand that the the purpose of the polynomial regression is to keep is to keep the order the lowest possible. So basically is to make sure that it remains quadratic at most. So you start from I don't know bx so beta whatever so beta n x you know the power of whatever and you have and you proceed by a procedure of elimination until you try to come to this. So that is the backward. Uh, so that is the backward uh, selection process. It's basically the same, the forward, but you just do the opposite of it. So now we're going to move to the order of the model. So when you perform a polynomial regression, the order of the model. When you write your your model, what you have to do is to start. You always start with y equals beta x. So beta n x power n of i plus beta 2 x power of 2 plus beta 1 x plus beta 0 plus the error term. So you see that I just reverse this equation here because you always start with the highest degree of of the polynomial that's the that's the order of the model when you write the model at first when you decide what model you're going to use if you know that you're going to use the polynomial regression in your analysis you write it like that at first to say that this is the model you're going to use then once you calculate all the values of the equation for the model then you write your model like this you always start with the highest so i say here always start with the highest degree of the coefficient. You always start with that and then you write your model. So now I'm going to talk about extrapolation a little bit. And that would be really quick extrapolation so in the polynomial regression we talk about extrapolation let's say we have a scatter plot sorry guys my trying to create a good scatter plot all right so you guys kind of have the idea here all right so you have a scatter plot like this and you see the regression the regression line going through so when we talk about extrapolation we have two parts of the of the regression here so this is where the region that's why we call the region data so this is where the original part of the data is region data so this is where you get the original values of your data and this part here this part you see here is what we call the extrapolation because that is when you use now the quadratic parameter to scale uh, to scale the value of your coefficient so here that's when it moves to the x square and above 
So that is the extrapolation method. So when you uh, analyze your regression, so this is x, this is y, uh, y. So when you analyze, and I don't know, the professor may ask you, oh, show me the extrapolation region of your data. You always start from the part that it starts with the quadratic parameter, and then it goes above. So that's what the extrapolation is. And remember to not try to scale the extrapolation at all times just to fit the model. There are some times when the increasing the extrapolation is not necessary. You only do it when you know that, okay, you can scale it to the, uh, to the second order of the regression. The second order should be your target. It is right to go to cubic or to um, quartic. It happens, but try to keep your regression always to, to, the, uh, to the quadratic parameter. So ladies and gentlemen, that was all for today. Um, in the next video, I'm going to talk about the um, orthogonal analysis of the polynomial regression. That's when we're gonna do some calculation and use uh, the matrices to calculate pretty much the values of the polynomial regression. So thank you very much for following this video. Let me know in the comment what you think. And until then, see you guys soon.